This look is inspired by the beautiful Lupita Nyong'o, and I'm gonna jump right into it, starting off with the hair. On freshly washed, blown out hair, I opted to pull my hair back into a low bun with a side part, just to give the illusion of Lupita's short do that she loves to rock. While my hair is setting, I'm gonna move on to the face. Now, Lupita wears a bold brow. And the reason I say it's a bold brow is because it is filled in a bit darker than what one would normally fill their brow in with a brown brow pencil or even lighter for that matter. But it's bold, it stands out, and nonetheless, it looks gorgeous on your face. So I'm gonna be a little bit more heavier with my hand in filling in my brow. And I'm gonna do a mixture of both a dark brown and a black, just to give uh, a more statement brow. Moving on to the eyes, I really wanted to achieve a soft, neutral look, but with a subtle, sexy smoke to it. So now I'm going in with my second base for my second layer of eyeshadow. I'll be using Maybelline's Gel Liner in black, and I'll be concentrating that more towards the lash line where I want it to smoke out. I'm then gonna go on top of that with Max eyeshadow in carbon and just press that shadow into the gel liner. If you're doing a similar look to this and you want it to be more intense, you can layer the black. It'll be a lot more intense and a lot more smoke and you can also wing it out. But for the purposes of this video, I just want a soft, subtle smoke because I don't want the focus to be too much on the eyes but more on the lips and the cheekbone. To diffuse any harsh lines, I'm going into my Smashbox Masterclass palette and I'm taking this chocolate brown called Java just to buff out any harsh edges but also to add another layer of dimension to the smoky eye. Onto the foundation, I will be using my all-time favorite Makeup Forever HD foundation in 180. This is actually my summer shade when I'm a bit more tanned, but for the purposes of this video, this is Lupita inspired. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, baby. So I'm going in with my foundation brush, and then I'm gonna smooth that out with my e.l.f. foundation brush to give it a flawless finish. I've opted to apply a little bit of concealer under my eye just to give my face a bit of dimension, um, especially around the eye area. It can look washed out when the light hits it. But for the most part, I will be focusing on the natural contours of my face. No heavy highlight, no banana powder in this tutorial, just keeping it natural and simple. As much as Lupita loves a bright lippy, a dark lip is also one of her signatures as well. So I'm using a combination of lip liners, NYX's Coco and MAC's Night Moth to line the outer portion of my lip. And in the inner portion, I'm using NYC's Lippy in 410 and Revlon's Vava Violet on top of that to deepen the lip.
And for the final touches with my hair fully set, I'll be putting on my cute little headband that I got from Forever 21, and that completes the Lupita inspired look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. All product information will be left in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore E-E-N-A-A, and I will be sure to follow you back. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.